Hi, this is Krishna Merchant and thank you for joining us for the Market Roundup. The Indian markets ended lower on Thursday, although global queues were supportive after the US Fed uh, reiterated that it will continue the bond buying program uh, unless the labor market improves. The Sensex was down 0.2% at 19,317 and the Nifty was also down around 0.2%. Uh, the economic growth uh, continued to remain weak as manufacturing PMI contracted slightly to 50.1 in July from 50.3 in June. This was in line with uh, what is happening in China also where there was sharp contraction in the manufacturing activity. Goldman Sachs um, downgraded Indian equities to underweight citing that there were near-term growth concerns after RBI's tightening measures to stem the volatility in the rupee. The rupee however continued to remain above the 60 level for the uh, third consecutive day. Uh, among individual stocks, financial te technology slumped 65 percent. Uh, the, the company does uh, own the National Spot Exchange, which suspended trading in one-day forward contracts. Uh, even MCX, which, is, um, uh, which has a significant stake, uh, the financial tech technology has significant stake in MCX, also plunged down 20 percent. Amongst other stocks, Reliance Communication uh, was down almost uh, 6 percent ahead of the results announcement. Uh, it reported a 30 net, 33 percent drop in net profit um, on back of higher finance cost, uh, although uh, they did exhibit some pricing power during the quarter. On the other hand, Idea Cellular touched an all-time high intraday, but uh, there was profit booking, uh, you know, 1%. Uh, it was down 1% at the end of the day ahead of the result announcement, although the, res the net profit doubled from the same quarter last year. Amongst other stocks, uh, uh, some of the gainers were um, uh, HUL. It was up around uh, almost over 3%. Banking stocks rallied today. HDFC Bank and Axis Bank both were up around 4% each. Maruti Suzuki was up 1%. It uh, showed uh, an increase in the sales growth uh, for the month of July for the first time in the last many months, although it was just up 1%. That is all for today. Do stay tuned to livemint.com for more updates.